Are you a fresh BSc or an MSc pass out or soon going to be one? Well, at this stage, we all are confused what to do after our graduation or post-graduation course. There are so many options to select from. Well, here I am today with some useful career tips to remove your frustration about the future career choices. Let's dig in for more details. The first option that you have it in hand is prepare for competitive exams. Because if you are BSc and MSc pass out, you will probably opt for research or probably you will opt for lecturership. Whatever it is, you will require some sponsorship, some fellowship. So you must be getting some of the JRF as a junior research fellowship scholarship. So for this, you need to appear for several competitive exams. For BSc, you have the options of getting into DBT or IIT JAM or QET. And for MSc, you have multiple options to select from. You have CSIR, GATE, ICMR, DBT, that is BET exam, ACTREC and further, which we, are all, which we have already discussed in our previous videos. So this is the time where you can utilize it wisely and you will be extremely benefited. You can go for in-depth preparation. You can make proper notes. You can make them for revision. You can strengthen your aptitude section because that will be required any place, any kind of interview or even in the competitive exams. So you must know that knowledge is the key. Without knowledge, you may not be able to enter your dream job or your dream career choice. So implement, you have to implement this and while you prepare for the competitive exams, you must also look for other career options which you can take up even if it is temporary but will lead you to your future job. So let's consider the other options. Next you have is to get future ready. Yes. This is our preparation phase. MSc, BSc, it was just a certification which you required. But this is the time to step back and evaluate which career path you need to go. How can you make use of the time to improve your skill set and also the knowledge base? So why not look for some certification courses? You can get certified. Why not look into some internships? join as an intern somewhere or look into some short term diploma courses. Also, you can get into programming, learn some programming and last but not the least, get some hands on experience. You have to improve on your productivity skills. As I said that you have to stand out from the crowd to be able to be selected for your dream job. You have to improve on your presentation skills also. So always keep yourself updated. Be in the know-how of all the latest present in the industry. Let's look into details of all of these. First one is get certified. Yes. So certification course, if you talk about, if you are any of the category of life science field, it's actually a vast field, diverse in the nature. Pharmacy, biotechnology, biochemistry, molecular biology, genetics to cell biology. Pick anything which you are passionate about and most important, what interests you. Which you will require to know in order to do your PhD, just do a certification course on that. In fact, Biotechnica store itself, if you check, there are around 50 to 60 certification courses and you can check them out. If you complete them, it will add a huge benefit to your resume. The certification courses are economically priced and most important part is you get lifetime access. Plus, you also get a certificate which you can add it up to your CV. So do check the Biotechnica store page for more. Next is join as an intern. So there are two kinds of internship. The internship which pays you 
and the internship for which you pay. Now, whichever it is, multiple organizations and even Biotechnica provides internships, even if you are not getting a hands-on right now, but many virtual ones will be available. Biotechnica will offer such virtual internships, especially in bioinformatics time to time. Then molecular docking time to time, we will be giving some internships. So watch out on these notifications so that you can opt for this internship courses. Not to mention that definitely these are going to add on your resume. You can join in any industry also as an intern. For that also you have to keep applying and you have to keep updated yourself. Join short term diploma courses. So you can enroll yourself in something from which you can gain knowledge. Like scientific writing, you can do a diploma course on that as this is a very hot field right now. You can even earn out of this through scientific writing. Another important one is clinical research. So these topics can be anything in multiple directions and dimensions. And it will also show you that you have done something. So basically it is going to give you weightage and obviously not to mention separately, it will give you knowledge and skill. Because whether you go for PhD, thesis writing or any kind of presentation, you will require this skill set. And clinical research, its applications are vast all over the life science field. Next concept is learn to program. Now, as you know, why learning programming is important? Because the future bioscience is going to merge with IT. In fact, it is almost in that stage. So why can't we be a catalyst for this process? So we know we can store data into DNA. We can store big, big terabytes and petabytes of data into DNA. But so far, we have been not been able to stabilize the DNA so that it retains the data for longer. Yeah, there are some companies which are doing it. So if you want, really want to learn what is programming, then there are multiple courses across the globe on internet. So one, which is in my knowledge right now, is computational biology. It's a very in-demand course and we have our um, course starting from 6th June. So you can easily opt for this and go for some computational biology programming. Apart from that, you can also opt for Python, BioPython, Bioinformatics, Molecular Docking, Molecular Modeling, so time to time Biotechnica will keep on releasing these courses. Do utilize them. Make use of these courses to your maximum benefit as much as you can. Next concept is hands-on training. Yeah, multiple companies in major cities like Gurgaon, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Pune, they are available Kolkata which will give you hands-on training, right? So why not learn some equipment which is very important, not only important, but it is also required for getting a research skill and which will also pertain to your area of interest. So there will be a charge involved, but that is not a payment, that is investment, investment on yourself. There is no harm in investing in yourself and your career if it is going to pay you later, right? Next set of career tips are you can get some research experience. Yeah, these were like some off target ones. This is directly which will affect your research. Either join as a JRF, Junior Research Fellowship, join as a research assistant or associate in R&D labs, or you can write research articles and review articles. So the first one is join as a JRF. So though this is only a temporary opportunity, but it will be a golden opportunity since you will be able to work in a lab. Now, when you clear your competitive exams, you will apply for your PhD. You will go there for the first time. You will at least not be a novice over there. You will be at least exposed to what kind of functioning the labs are happening. You will know the modus operandi and you will be not new to the equipments or the day-to-day -day work that the labs will have. So even if this is temporary, you will get huge experience out of this. Now, how do you get to know such uh, places where you can join as GRF? Well, you have to know research organizations and sometimes the GRF can also be converted into PhD. You can 
opt for Biotechnica newsletter. If you subscribe to it, you will be getting the latest updates where and all they are opening up such research opportunities. Also, you can join as a research associate, RA or an assist assistant in R&D labs. Now, the best part of this kind of opportunities are that you will have flexibility. Flexibility to work part time also and side by side you can also prepare for your competitive exams since I also gave that as a career tip. So these temporary projects, these are some projects which the research scientists will open up for some temporary work. Now this will give you experience. They are like staircases to your permanent job. You don't think that okay directly I'll go to my dream job. You don't get that. You have to climb one by one, right? And most important thing is these are paid. So these are all earning you money. You will get stipend even as JRF. Okay. And that's what I mentioned. You will uh, already know how the labs and all is working. So you will be not new to it. You will be already exposed. Right. And plus it's also giving you hands on training. Right. And workload will be pretty much less. It won't be too much. So along alongside you can also prepare for your CSR net or gate exams. Write research articles and review articles. If you are a passionate researcher, then writing and publishing is an integral part of your job. So in, in peer reviewed journal is something what you can do, right? So something which you have already worked upon, probably your MSc project, you, you want to convert it into a manuscript and do some scientific writing. And then you can apply into some peer reviewed journals. Now question is, how does it help you? Right. So one thing is that you get experience out of it definitely and it will add up to your CV. So you get some certification also for that. Right. And which will be helping you to stand out of the crowd as it will give weightage to your CV. So this is what most are looking for these days in CVs. Right. Now, of course, you will need uh, for this also, you will need some scientific writing experience. Right. Some experience uh, to learn rather how to do that. That you can do in Biotechnica's course. One is the research methodology and scientific writing course. So with that, you can easily uh, get a hang of how to do such kind of article writing. Next is option is look for jobs. The various companies that have a lot of manufacturing happening because of recent pandemics like Zyder's, Bharat Biotech, Serum Institute. So they require more and more manpower. They are actually hiring in bulk now and they are posting jobs online uh, for Biotechnica like in production or in R&D or in QA, QC jobs. So they are available on not only Biotechnica website but also on the uh, job websites like Nokri and all. Right? So what you can do is you can download the Biotechnica app section, app you go and you just check the job section in there. Right. So every day it is updated and even in Biotechnica newsletter you will be getting check out all the jobs that are that you is posted in either in companies or in government. Now you may think that it is very difficult to get into government job, but it should begin somewhere. Right. You should at least give it a try. There is no harm in applying. And then once you get into the process of starting to apply, you will know where to apply, how to apply. You will get the hang of it. And you can do it on a trial and error basis, right? So around 10% of the people will be selected of how much are applying. So better you start applying so that you have some chances. Another option is that you can gain teaching experience. So this is for students who want to pursue uh, teaching and they want to go into academia and they are targeting lecturership in CSI and NET. So it, it should not be on any random platform. Right. Because you cannot mention that you have taught on YouTube. Right. So you need a proper organization. You can apply over there. You can prepare for your interviews. You can prepare a short thing for your demo lecture and you get into that some serious teaching. Right. Some college organization or some university. Right. You can start teaching at the BSc level or at the MSc level that definitely will add up to your CV. Next point is personal development. So you will wonder why this is important, right? So personal branding and networking, people should know who you are. So you have to concentrate on your social profiles, especially the professional ones, 
like LinkedIn and all. Update it with all the certifications, the awards, the participations in different different forums. So it will help your potential employers to gain good insight of you as a candidates. So that's where they will find you impressive from where they can select you out. You can also use it to connect with like minded people. And this also helps in getting a job. So build a circle of mentors around you. This will help you keep your spirits high. Another thing is that you must be very good at networking. Networking means connecting with people. So through webinar forums, interacting sessions, like how Biotechnica conducts webinars. We bring in eminent speakers time to time. You can connect with them on LinkedIn, talk to them, associate with them, right? It will help you. And also you can help people in your network. If some job comes up, which is not related to your field, but you know someone to whose field it is related, you can inform them. Then public speaking. We may think that, okay, we are good at it, but probably we need to work on that, right? If you have to present a thesis, right? Or you have to present your paper or research. So even in interview also, it will require the communication skills. So to develop that, you need to be very expressive and very convincing. And how do you learn that? You, you might think you are very good, but just try to deliver a topic for 30 minutes. You will get to know how good you are. So you should not stammer and you should have confidence on yourself. So why not practice public speaking? In fact, uh, uh, so you have to improve your interpersonal skills. We have a, a course uh, Biotechnica CEO, Mr. Sekhar Shuman himself have designed a course on public speaking for researchers, teachers and prior professionals. So you can check it out on the app store. I'm sure it's going to change your life. Okay. So become a student of circumstance. Pedal hard when everyone is sleeping. So after passing BSc, MSc, probably everyone is a little relaxed, right? They are uh, enjoying the free time, but you don't do that. Everyone around you will be frustrated. They will also be at the same time frustrated, but they won't know what to do. So better pick out on one of these options and start working on them. One or two more than that and less competition because if people are not working towards it, then probably your competition market is also less. So with these words, I want you to Understand one thing, if you want to get started with your CSIR, NET and GATE preparation, then here is your free starter kit, which you can download from our YouTube channel. Thank you everyone for listening to me. I'll see you in my next video very soon. Thank you.